Hi Luca, how are you today? Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you so much. You okay? Yeah, all good. Are you looking forward to the Thai round? Sorry? Are you looking forward to the next race? Yeah, yeah. I am. Mm, we are here in Thailand. That is a uh, a good track for me. Good memories. Uh, I hope the weather can be good. And uh, let's see what uh, what happened here. For sure, the goal is stay in the top six position. Okay. What are your biggest challenges in the, in Thailand? I think that here is uh, is difficult uh, and a good challenge is that the fact that this first time here with the MotoGP bike. is uh, it's been since 2019 that we are not riding here so at the beginning it would be difficult for me fp1 would be tough uh, the bike will be not perfect especially on the electronic side we need to work a lot then also the tires here are are really stiff really hard so it's difficult to ride with these uh, hard tires uh, So for this will be will be a challenge weekend in general, but I want to stay in, uh, in the top ten position uh, in the first uh, three practice and then also make a good qualifying. Try to start uh, in front and make a good race. Okay, so could you tell me about your transition from Moto Two to Moto GP? Ah, was a a good uh, journey. I think. Uh, I have a good time in Moto2. Uh, I improved uh, a lot, especially on a personal way. Also, as a rider, I improved a lot. I worked a lot on my weakness and uh, I tried to improving also my strongest point. And uh, at the beginning of my career, I never expected to arrive in MotoGP, but every year my my confidence improved and uh, every year i felt uh, stronger than the year before so i saw like an opportunity jump on moto gp and uh, when i arrived in moto gp was everything incredible i understand uh, how it is difficult and hard to be one of the top top riders of moto gp but this is my target my goal and uh, this was is something that i'm looking for and uh, i want to achieve this uh, result uh, in the next year okay um, so moto gp machinery has a lot more electronics than the moto 2 bikes you used to ride right so how has that how easy or difficult has that adaptation been ah it's uh, very difficult because uh, it's very important uh, the electronics of the of the bike and you need to spend a lot of time with your engineer try to make uh, everything perfect because if the electronic side of the bike is not good then ride the bike is uh, more difficult uh, so you need to be very focused when you are riding try to understand in which area you need to work and then on the in in the box working with your engineer and try to make uh, the the map of the or the throttle of the engine brake a little bit better okay and so far in the 2022 season would you say it has been going according to plan or have you, it has it not been going according to plan i would say that uh, yeah it's going uh, like my plan was at the beginning of the season but Sincerely, I expected more from the first part of the season. I expected to be at this level also at the beginning of the season because I felt uh, really strong uh, even in that moment. But it was not easy because we had a new bike, uh, a new team, and uh, everybody need to learn, understand, and grow up. Uh, and now we we reached a very good level and we are fighting for the top position in every race so this uh, makes me really satisfied okay and uh, this is my last question do you have a favorite track for moto2 and for an- another favorite track for moto gp or is it the same track hey mm, in moto2 
I really like it. Uh, I love ride, riding uh, in Mugello. On a MotoGP bike, Mugello is a little bit more difficult. Uh, but uh, as the layout is incredible, so I like it a lot. But also with the MotoGP bike, uh, different uh, tracks became um, better. So track like Silverstone, like Barcelona, like Misano, on a MotoGP bike, uh, they are uh, better. I don't know why, but uh, with more speed, more power, better tires, you feel, uh, you feel better in that track. While with the Moto2, um, worse. Understood. Okay, thank you. Thank um, you. And all, all the best. I hope you find your ideal setup very quickly and you do extremely well in the Thailand race. All thank the best, so Luca. Thank you so much. See you. Thank you.